Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. I'm Kenyatta. This will be a reading from the Tarot Apocalypse. The title of this reading is When the Authorities Call. The authorities don't always call you out loud. They're not loud and boisterous and ignorant. I'm hearing something about they make special surprises. I said when they call, not when they come to bust your ass. I said when they call, they will call you at times. You won't even know that they're calling you. Sometimes you won't even know who you've spoken to, to. But they will call. And they do call. They make their calls. They make their rounds. They have many ways, secrets. To do what it is that they do. Sometimes we have an expectation of how they're going to uh, make their appearance. They have various ways, means, and methods. Some of which you know nothing about. The, the public has no clue. They'll find out if they need to. And if they need them to, if they don't need them to, then they won't. When the authorities call. Let's get into it here. We have seven of cups upright. Eight of swords upright. Nine of Wands in reverse. Temperance in reverse. Ace of Swords upright. Now, usually, when I look at Seven of Cups, I think of um, options. There are no options here, okay? This is not screaming options here. It screams something else. It speaks something else here in this deck. Fantasy, maybe? Play? A lot of play. Any kind of play. It's a very uh, sexual card here. But it's not just and only that. Hmm. These are the authorities who call. <laughs> okay. These men here. Mm. And this in this card is like in this bathhouse bathing here. Not really bathing though. The picture. But nevertheless, we're not gonna go into all that as not to offend. These are the authorities that call. I feel like these men here are bound by something. They have to do what they feel is right. 
I didn't say what is. I said what they feel is right, okay? I'm not saying it's not e either. Put no qualifiers to it. Hmm. Something about protection or the lack thereof. Hmm. Okay. I am here and protect yourself, watch over yourself. These men won't do it. They've done their part. They've done what they're supposed to do. They have watched out for you. They have protected you, okay? To a point, now it is your turn. They're like, uh, they work within limitations here. And they have done their work that they uh, were required to do within their limitations. Now it is your turn to work for you, for yourself. Don't rely and count on them. They can't. They've done their part. Now they're in their place of, uh, or space, I guess you could say, kind of like relaxation. We've done what we're supposed to do. Moving on to the next. Um, okay, the, I feel like the, uh, they have done their part in the material realm that aspect now you do your part in the spiritual realm don't just rely on these outside forces here that have done what they're supposed to do that have they have been required to do what has been required of them to do Go to, um, it sounds like I want to say, mm -hmm, for a new, something new, new thought, new concept, new idea on how to protect yourself and others. I'm here like you're in line, okay, for something else to do. It's time for you to move on and do something else. Do something different. Here, Eight of Wands in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. Seven of Swords upright. The Fool card upright. I want to say, I feel like, let me get my glasses, hold on, okay, I want to say, I feel like uh, whatever it was, it's time for a new thought, a new idea, something different than what you thought 
you maybe what you thought you wanted before, what you thought was your destiny before, what you were looking at before, what you were aiming for before. I don't know yet. This is greater than the idea or concept of protection. Okay. And I'm here and th this is why these men men have moved forward or moved on. Their time was up. Your time is now. You were protected, I feel like, from some very heinous situations. Heinous things. From people that you loved. People that you thought, that you thought at one point in time were part of your tribe. Your beginnings. And your endings. You are done away with those people. But they're still, I feel like they're still striving here to be a part of your uh, life. I'm here, your community, okay? Your gatherings, who you are, your destiny. But they are not. Yeah. Deceivers. See. There's another one. Another authoritative figure as this child here tries to steal from you, your home, your abode, okay, yourself. Hold on. <clears throat> it looks like an eclipse here in this picture. The total or partial obscuring of one heavenly body by another, a passing into the shadow of a heavenly body, a falling into obscurity or decline. obscure to make dark dim or indistinct to conceal or hide okay as if by covering okay so in this picture here this child these energies falsehoods who you thought you know family home friends all of that type of shit okay um are not were not cannot be i'm hearing but here they were trying to steal your wares here, okay, in obscurity, okay. I would say physically, maybe more so, but here, once again, this authoritative figure sits here. I'm not sure what's in his hand, but I would imagine a weapon, okay. This child doesn't know, doesn't see them, doesn't know that they're there, doesn't know that they're hiding there, waiting for them, watching them. Okay. This was you. Not the child. The child are these energies that you uh, loved. 
thought were a part of your tribe, your, you know, you. No longer, not anymore, but they, I feel like, can want to be, won't leave you be. Because, see, they was taking a lot of your shit. Children, though, uh, don't matter the age. This has been, uh, um, who knows what they was taking from you, okay? Materialistically, money, uh, I don't know, material things, property, abundance. Now I'm hearing they're here to steal um, spiritual property. You, you're you. Or they're trying, they've probably been doing it. And they're continuing to try. This is where you come in. These authorities have done what they could in terms of the physical. I'm hearing they can no longer reach your gate. To take your stuff, your things. That belong to you materially. That's dead, done, and complete. It's over. Now, if you were supposed to get some shit and you ain't got it yet, I don't know. Things take time. I don't know, okay? But know that from here on out, there will be no taking and stealing of your property, your physical property, things that belong to you. Now, I feel like they took some, some things were taken probably over the years done to you, but I'm here no longer. These fools can no longer take your wares, your things. So they will try on the spiritual front to take all of you. If they can't get your shit physically, they're going to try to get your shit you know, I'm here mentally, spiritually, emotionally, your being. The fool, the whirling Sufi dance, abandoned self-knowledge to welcome a higher knowledge. This is the newness that you have to come into. The new you, okay? Or the new knowledge. You didn't know this shit before. Now you know. This is the space that you have to walk in. Not that old shit. With these old energies here was all up in your groove taking your shit. The wheel, upright. The world, in reverse. The star, upright. Change. The cult of Demeter and the seasons change as the only constant in the universe. New. Beginnings. Higher knowledge. The damn truth. change you know i'm here to move forward with the change of seasons as they direct you 
Don't allow these past energies and their flow of their energy, okay, that became a part of you, stay a part of you. Release yourself from that. Remove yourself from that. That low down binding energy, that energy that had you bound to take from you and corrupt you, I'm hearing. And I'm hearing corrupt your seed. So I don't know if that could be children or the things that you, you know, that you were planting to blossom forth from you. Could be both. The world, Sophia, the philosophy, the point of arrival and the conclusion intended as the synthesis of the journey traveled. They don't want the shit to end. But see how you have your back turned on them not wanting the shit to end? Keep your back turned on them and evolve to this. The truth. The star being, your star being. The divine light. The divine light that what? Shines in the darkness here that they was trying to cover up. They was covering up obscurity here. To take your shit. Telling you dumb shit. Bullshit. Shit that wasn't right. And I don't mean morally so. I mean just lies. You this and you that. And you ain't this and you ain't that. Seeds planted in you to bring forth weeds. And not the blossoming forth of the true you. So they can keep taking your shit. Okay. Here. Evolve. Keep your back to these energies. See, they've done their part. The authorities with what they could. You know. Who are you? People don't know who people are. You may not even know. About this. What was being done to you and for you and on your behalf. So keep your back on the shit that they don't want to end. Let them keep going in their little circle. Like a dog running after his tail. A bunch of dogs running after their tail. Rough, rough, rough. Can't get it. No duh. And you evolve into this, this new, not that old shit, new. The star, the light that shines. What it say here? The divine light that shines in darkness and brings hope. You know, me and my daughter were watching The Hunger Games. It's really, I really liked that movie. And that was the one thing that uh, the president kept saying. And he wanted to get rid of her ass. Just kill her shit. You know, the new game player who was supposed to be part of the revolution was like, no, nah, you know, we got to play this a certain way. <laughs> and what the president kept saying, the problem with her is she brings hope. Hope outweighs fear. What did uh, the man used to say back way back in the day? The mantra, keep hope alive. People have some kind of hope, then they have, they, they can move forward. You're the divine light, you know, Evolve into this being that you are. Not that you got to conjure up and figure out you got to steal from somebody else. They like, no, yours. Because if you wasn't that, they wouldn't have been fucking around with you in the first place. If he was just like them, they wouldn't have been fucking around with you in the first place. Stealing your shit, lying on you, doing all kind of craziness with the black magic, witchcrafts, and slander, and all the bullshit. 
They wanted to keep you here, that moon, that eclipse, that moon covering up that light, that sun. But you still see the, the rim of the sun. And a, how long do a motherfucking eclipse last? Not forever, goddamn. Ain't it in Alaska somewhere where they have a few months or so of dark, darkness all fucking day long, but the shit don't last, do it? Trouble don't last always. It ain't always the night motherfucking time. Seven of Wands, upright. Nine of Pentacles, in reverse. The Magician, in reverse. Every time I look at that, I think of, um, you know, uh, this is a, this card is um, set here in Egypt. What is it? Seven of Wands, Wands. And it reminds me of uh, <laughs> that movie, an old movie. With Moses and he lifted up his staff. Well, that's I think that's what it's supposed to be. Okay. Part of the Red Sea. All right. But anyway. I'm just saying what the card reminds me of. I think that's what it's supposed to be. All right. Seven of Wands. The strength of one's own convictions. See all those motherfuckers? With their wands to condemn you, to bury you, to stop you out. To say you ain't shit with their, their wands of you know their black magic witchcraft and 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 slander and lying on you and gossiping and stealing from you, manipulating you and your energy so on and so fucking forth. Higher knowledge to your true self. This, keep your back turned to the bullshit. Let them continue to bark and make noise. And run around once again after, like a dog after his fucking tail, like a chicken with his fucking head cut off. Just yelp, 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 making a bunch of fucking noise while you transform and evolve here to this star that you are. This is the becoming of you, of that, the star that you are here, getting you to this uh, place of strength. Okay, of standing against this shit. Why? Because of your truth, of your of your convictions, of the truth of who you are and the knowledge of self. Not who motherfuckers try to tell you you are. Success earned thanks to one's own skills, but it's in reverse, nine of pentacles. Then I, what did I just say? These energies got you to this place, your destination, your you. Be thankful, shit, and all things give thanks. Because if you were the same as them, the motherfuckers wouldn't have bothered you at all, like I said earlier. There wouldn't have been no work for them to do on you. Steal your what? We got the same shit. Nothing to steal. Nothing to take.
The bitch is one of us. The motherfucker's one of us. And all things give thanks. I don't, that's what the Bible say. I mean, you know. Some believe it, some don't, whatever. This pushed you to your being. Your being of greatness. Of who and what the fuck you are. Now, take your willpower. Allow yourself once again to evolve to your true being here. You've been awakened. You've seen what the fuck the motherfuckers have done. Stay away from their fucking asses. And their old energies that they dropped all up inside of you. You ain't shit and you ain't this and you ain't this and you ain't that. Whether it was said just that harshly or not, sometimes people say things in a real nice, sweet way. And you don't realize they just told you you ain't shit. But the seed has been planted. The subconscious mind is fully aware. And you act it out and you become something that you are not. Now you are aware. New. Higher knowledge. Evolution to yourself. With their help. Whether they knew it or not. Only It can only really be said if you have come to this place. Now turn this shit. You got the knowledge. Now turn this uh, willpower here, this knowledge here, to action of bringing this, th th this light that you are, this star that you are, okay? Um, go ahead. In other words, go ahead, take the action and shine in the motherfucking darkness and bring hope. I don't know why I'm, I'm hearing this. I don't know what this means necessarily. Hold on. The authorities here have reconciled what was of the past with you. They have reconciled it by Mm. Okay, I'm here by approaching you with honor and grace. They have followed. They have followed along and have done exactly what it is they were willed and called to do. They were supposed to do this to protect you on the material in the material realm. They did their part. I feel like I'm hearing like they were lied to um, about you concerning things of the past or in the past. I don't know if this was like a past life thing or something, but there was something from the past. They were lied to about you, okay? Either concerning the past or in the past or both. They discovered the truth or their truth of what it is that they were supposed to will to you, or what they were supposed to do for you, or even with you. They have done it. They have done their part. What they were supposed to do was to protect you, protect some things from happening to you, things that ha could have occurred, okay, concerning you, about you. 
This will I'm hearing has turned in your favor. They have watched you. They have watched over you and protected you. The call I'm hearing to let you know that their deeds have come to a conclusion. They are done with you in this realm, on this side. They did what they were supposed to do. But I am hearing, okay, they will no longer protect you if you are not willing to walk in your light and in your divinity. Okay, it's time for you to shine. Get your ass out there and fucking shine. Okay. And I'm here and call these motherfuckers, this Ten of Cups in reverse, to naught. To nothing in your realm and reality. Keep your back turned. No matter what they send you, say to you, uh, reach out to you, what the fuck ever is done and over with. Bring this to a conclusion in your life and move forward. That's it.